Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel. Today vlog is going to be very good because I am here at La Isla del Frappe guys. I'm going to try some foods and something. I have a surprise for you guys at the end. So let's come along. Let's go do this one. As you see this is the menu from all the beautiful treats that they got here. Look at all that. Look at all this wonderful creations. How can you go wrong with this? Look at that. They even have my favorite. Cameo. Cameo cookies. That's my favorite. Right here. Let me see if I can see it. I know they do. Oh, I don't see it. But I know in the what? Oh, yeah. Right here. That one. They got cameo cookies. Now, as you see, they got kids frapping cone the piña the cheesecake plato that's the plate nutella hot and they got some good 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 foods all of that guys and the prices we can beat it they got pinchos kabat that's how they call it i guess in english look at that all right guys Let's choose an item. Let's choose actually two items. La Isla del Prado. Yeah. They even got mofongo con langosta. That's with uh, mofongo with lobster. They got a cup of um, calamari mixed with um, octopus. Well, oh, as you see, I was gonna order something extravagant, didn't add it. So I ordered the same thing, but it's similar, but without the all the the extravaganza creation. So it's what it is, you know. Sometimes they're gonna have the thing, sometimes they don't. So keep that in mind. And another thing, keep on in mind. When you're gonna order, instead of going in the first here, you gotta order next to that sign where the people is, right there. They're gonna give you a paper, a receipt, and a number. So you just wait until they call the number. They don't have, oh, another thing that they don't have is seating options. So I'm gonna eat whatever I order. I'm gonna do it here outside in the car. So that's gonna be my table for now. Now guys, look at this. Look at this right here. This is called the piña colada. Okay. Actually, I was going to get in the picture earlier I show you with the sign. They had a real piña and all of this was in it. They was out of the pineapple. So, you know, I get the one that it was close to. To take a closer look at this I find it amazingly beautiful there now beautiful is one word but good is another one so let's try it and see how good it is and you got a cherry mm. right like I always say we gotta give it a try. Hope you guys can see me good. Okay. Let's take the cherry out because I'm not really a big fan of cherry. But whoever loves cherry, we got a cherry. My napkins because I know I'm going to make a mess. All right. This is good. This here, this is good. I can try that Coco Lopez. I like the swirl. You see how they make that little swirl? I don't know how they could design all that, but they did it. And guys, you really have real coconut flakes in here. 
you got real strawberry, real pineapple, and real apple. And the strawberries have chocolate, deep in chocolate. So, hello guys. Now, let me be right here because I wanna. <clears throat> I want to dip in this one here. Look at the coconut right there, guys. Focus. There you go. Now, let's try this one. Now, strawberry is really good though. It's not, it's a little sweet, but it's good because I like it like that. I don't like it too <clears throat> bitter if you want to call it like that. The chocolate in the other hand is not, um, it doesn't taste like the real chocolate, but it's good, still good. Let's try the pineapple. <laughs> I'll go a little far so you guys can see me better. Because I don't have my stand today. And there's no room. <laughs> Juicy. Pineapple. It's not sweet, sweet. <clears throat> but it's not sour, sour. It's right in the middle. Mm -hmm. When you bite it, smooth. You don't have to like, it's not chewy or nada. You gotta like, you know some pineapples, they like hard. Sometimes, not this one. This is not like that. It's melting. It's a little hot today. It's 95. But it's not humid, so... That's a big, big, big plus. The design in this, guys, is so creative. I'm telling you, they made a creation here. They even cut. I want you to see this. You see how they cut this and it looks like a rose? That is, that is talent right there. That's really amazing. I like representation. They represent this really good. And that's what I do like and enjoy. We are going to eat some Hispanic food. Okay? Let me finish this. I'll be back. Alright guys. Now. I got myself here. A cup. Right? And this cup has mofongo. Relleno. Mofongo is a um, plantain. Actually, they deep fry it, they take it out and they smash it, they make it into a ball, and they put um, garlic in it. And you can have any kind of you can have any kind of meat with it. You can have chicken, pork, seafood if you like. Anything your little heart desires, you can put it in that mofongo. So I had the mofongo relleno, it means that it's stuff, mofongo stuff, with chicken al ajillo, garlic chicken. In Spanish it sounds more like, oh, al ajillo, but it's really good. All these flavors, I know, I think I'm going to give it a really good rating. Oh. And I forgot guys, the Isla del Frappe, the island of the Frappe, is here at um, Colonial Drive and Golden Rock. So it's in Orlando area, okay? Just giving you a little idea so you guys know where to find, okay? And if not, you can always Google La Isla del Frappe and it will give you direction here, but I still want to give you some tips and some information. 
Now let's open this. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, my goodness, my goodness. If you hear smelling this, you're gonna be, you really wanna eat this. Now, let me show you the plate. Now, as you see here, we got chicken, al ajillo, with garlic sauce and chicken. And you see the little green stuff? That's actually the gravy with some seasoning in it. Adobo and all that stuff. Down here is the mofongo smush. They're making it a ball. They put it in there, as you see. Let's dig in. <clears throat> Representation, really good. I like it. Especially when you're in the go, you got it in the cup. Had to worry about anything going messy. <laughs> like me. Alright, <clears throat> so. Long time I haven't eaten some Hispanic food. Not like this. The flavors are busting in my mouth. I'm confused. There's so much good flavors. It's not too salty. It's right in the, the what, how it's supposed to be. And the chicken, it's not hard at all in the mofongo right here that's the mofongo you can try it you can the mofongo and the mofongo it's not hard, uh, even if it's deep fried, but it's not hard. I have a little texture, but crunchiness mixed with softness. It's not hard. And then the gravy, they really summered this in gravy. And I'm a gravy person. I need to have gravy in basically everything. Mm. The chicken. Nice and grilled. Look at that. Look, look, it's coming out. Oh, Lordy. You see? That's how good it is. Mm. Four thumbs up. Two in the front and two in the back. This is good. I recommend, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you are in the Orlando area, come over here. Explore something new in your life. Then maybe some of you guys have not had no Latin food before. I don't know. Or are scared to have it, so maybe food flavor or they don't like the ingredients and stuff, but it could be so many stuff. No, 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 no. Trust me, guarantee, like I always say, you're gonna like it. If you like adobo or you like salt and pepper, um, you like green plantains, chicken, you like garlic. There you go, voila. That's it. Nothing big. Give it a shot and try it. Okay? So I'm going to finish this big baby right here. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Okay, guys? Don't go. And I forgot to tell you guys. The gravy is like buttery. Like I have like a buttery taste, but... I don't know if they really did put butter in it. I don't, I'm not sure, but I know it had that taste with mixed with the 
season and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, and another thing. When you're going to eat mokongo, eat it hot when it's ready. When they serve it right there, eat it. Don't wait an hour, no, because then it gets hard. You got to eat this fresh out from the kitchen. I'm going to give it a little bit of a review and a little bit of a um, rating for the foods and for the frappe. All right, guys. <clears throat> for the frappe, I give it a 10. Between 1 to 10, 10 is the most extreme. Mofongo stuff. That's how they call it, you know, stuff. I give it a 10 plus 10. That means 20. It goes on limit because that's the ultimate. Okay? Now, the only thing that I did not like about the place, I'm going to give it a little bit of a downer, is that they don't have no seating area. So you just sit down and relax and enjoy your food. But I cannot say nothing about it because in reality, it's not a big space here. They have like a little, uh, like a, quite like a, let me show you. So you see the entrance is right here. And that's McDonald's right there. So, so you enter all the way down and you're going to see the truck. It's a foot truck. Okay, guys? All the way here and then you're going to have the parking area. Comfortable for a couple of cars. So as you see, I'm here in the, in the back of my trunk and I ate the food standing up you can sit down in your car and eat it with some air c or whatever but like i'm making the vlog so i had to show you guys you know the creation now that's the only down thing that i find in this place but the rest of it is history so in the price guys if you are interested before you come actually i pay seven dollars for the frappe for the pina colada frappe and I pay $10 for the mofongo relleno, okay? For the stuffed mofongo. So, price is not bad though. And it's pretty big, the portion is pretty big of the mofongo. And the portion of the frappe is really tall. It's like, like this tall, I mean, put it somewhere. It's like this tall. It's pretty tall and it's pretty wide and it's good and I have a lot of ingredients so you can go wrong for seven bucks. It's very cheap here, price affordable. And you know that that's a must like. So whoever wants to come and try this, come along and enjoy your life. Hey guys, this is gonna be the end of my vlog today. And thank you for joining me in this adventure of foods, okay? We are exploring. So my beautiful people, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and ring that bell, please. Ring it, okay? Alright, guys. Have a good one. Bye.